Hey everybody, Mark Spector Comics and I'm back. This time I wanted to do something a little different. Um, if you watched any of my previous videos, I'd like to do some, you know, comic book pickups, you know, some good spec books on the cheap. So this time I wanted to give you some of my insights on my top five spec books to look out for for the month of June. If you're interested in that, stay tuned for the intro. All right, so uh, I know a lot of people in, in the uh, YouTube community like to watch these videos. Um, they're you know big into the speculation in, in the investment, you know, looking for some good books on the cheap, whatever the case may be. So I'm gonna do something different. Start this off uh, for June 2021. Gonna give you my top five books to look out for while you're hunting, you know, browsing through the bins, online shopping, whatever the case may be. Um, these books are going to be all pretty affordable. I'm not going to give you some crazy expensive books. You know, I'm going to keep it to no more than a hundred dollars. So, and and the books are not going to be up that high either way. But um, I'm going to give you my top five books to look out for for the near future. Some of them will be immediate future. Some will be next year and so forth. But um, if you're interested in that, I think you'll you'll get a good kick out of this video. So. The first book we're going to look into is not an immediate um, spec book, but it's going to be coming out for next year's Moon Knight series. And I figured, why not start off with a Moon Knight related book? Um, so this is going to be Werewolf by Night, issue number 10. This book came out, I want to say this is Bronze Age. This came out in October yep, of 1973. It's a 20 center written by Roy Thomas. Um, you know me, I love collecting Bronze Age, <coughs> excuse me, Bronze Age horror. Um, whether it's Marvel, DC, it makes no difference. It's just the eye appeal of these covers. This is a tough cover to get in high grade. It's a black cover. But um, if you're not familiar with this book, it's the first appearance of the committee. So the committee is a secret organization, a non, you know, organization of anonymous businessmen and financiers. There are, their purpose is to stimulate what they perceive to be a sinking global economy by any means available to them. So many of their practices are ethically questionable and usually illegal. Um, they usually promote consumerism. Um, could the committee members were also known to implement a doctrine of fear or shock into the private sector into investing. And I think this can have some good implications for the uh, upcoming Moon Knight series. So um, these efforts usually brought you know, by the committee into conflict with Jack Russell. So Jack Russell is the werewolf by night. And um, he's also speculated to be in the upcoming Moon Knight series, whether it's you know season one or season two. But um, I think this committee could definitely be you know, heavily involved in the upcoming Moon Knight series. So this book is heavily slept on right now. I'm gonna go onto eBay right now and just pull up some of the recent sales. Like one sold today, this is June 2nd when I'm doing the recording, for a buy it now of $10. And this was a VF copy. And there was also a 9.2 uh, graded copy that sold for $91. And this book is not easy to get in high grade by any means. Um, on the CGC census, there's, let's see, hundred and about 130 copies graded. The uh, highest graded is a 9.8. So, and there's only 13 of those. And, um, and a 9.2, yeah, th this is not an easy book to get. So somebody got that book for a steal. But like I said, you can get this book raw as cheap as $10. Definitely a great buy. Uh, book number two. This book you're probably already familiar with if you're uh, into um, Spider-Man. And this is Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 365. This is the first appearance of Spider-Man 2099. So um, if you, you watched any of the Enter the Spider-Verse series, the first movie, I, great, great movie if you haven't already watched it. But... Um, the character showed up right at the end, like the, 
you know, end of the, the clip of the movie. Mr. Prototype. Not excited. But you could be the first person to make an autonomous multiverse jump. Or the last. Okay, so we're just going to roll the dice on this? So what do you say, pal? Where do you want to go first? Let's start at the beginning one last time. No, next year, year after. But the movie was highly praised. Uh, did well in the box office, so it's it's definitely gonna be it's definitely gonna come. Um, you can still surprisingly get this book for really really good prices. Um, I'm gonna give you some examples. There was a VF copy that sold today for 32 bucks. This was uh, this was a sale price, and it sold at a 9.8. For 4.95, and that was actually bids. Um, there's also a harder to find newsstand copy. The newsstands are going to be highly sought after. Uh, this book popped. I want to say it was like last month or so, and um, newsstands were I think were selling over a thousand dollars at that time. Um, they have since you know cooled down a little bit, but uh, you can definitely get this book. Like I said, for the book raw for around 30 bucks. Um, definitely cheaper. You can get it 15 bucks, 16 bucks. So I want to say it's around a 15 to 20 dollar book. And but it's definitely condition sensitive. It is a black cover. It's a thicker book. There is that hologram right in the middle. So it is it is tough to get in a really high grade. But uh, definitely a great book to spec on, and it's not going to break the bank at 15 to 20 bucks. So that's book number two. All right, so book number three, and this one is gonna be right on the higher end of the cusp when I was saying no more than $100. And, um, and this is based off what they're currently selling for on eBay. And this is Marvel Premiere number 10. And if you're not familiar with this, this is going back to my Bronze Age horror. This is first appearance of Shumagorath, and it's also the Death of the Ancient One. So, this character, if you're not familiar with this character, there's a lot of rumors and speculations that um, Shumagorath is going to be the main villain in the upcoming Doctor Strange Multiverse of Madness movie. Whether this is true or not, it's left to be seen. Um, I think that this villain does have the potential to show up as one of the villains in the Multiverse of Madness because it's called the Multiverse of Madness. So, we do expect to be lot of multiversal paths that Doctor Strange crosses into and Shuma Gorath is one of those archetypal class 3 demons native to the extra dimensional realm. He's also considered one of the old ones who came to Earth uh, I don't know millions of years ago ruling it and feasting on mankind's ancestors. So um, he ended up being banished in the past by a sorcerer Cisneg um, and then returned to Earth and ruled for an age in what would be called the Samaria, um, fed by a blood sacrifice. So, this character is extremely powerful, and I think would bring a nice, you know, type of battle that you, you would expect to see with Doctor Strange and his sorcery. Um, it has ties to other, you know, villains like Nightmare, um, e Ebera. And in Slugath, so um, these are like th this is like a big, big villain. Uh, I'm gonna put the uh, picture on there for this villain. It, it, it's just a great cover. If you're not familiar with this cover from the uh, Marvel premiere run, uh, it's cover done by Frank Brunner. But um, sales for this book, you know, people have caught on. I bought this book last year for around twenty, twenty-five dollars. And some of the recent sales have gotten quite a bit up there. You know, there was a uh, best offer accepted ninety dollars, a hundred dollars. Um, trying to see what else, seventy five dollars. So it's going to be condition sensitive, of course. I see a VF copy that sold for two fifty. So it's going to, I want to see a, a good price for this book is going to be between 50 to 100 bucks, uh, depending on grade. Mine was probably a VF copy. 
And this book, because of the cover, it is really hard. I mean, like really hard to get this in high grade. And that's why this book commands the price that it does graded in a high grade. There's only about 120 of this, of these um, Marvel Premier 10s graded at CGC with the highest grade surprisingly being a 9.8. And um, if you have a 9.4 or higher of this book, congratulations, because this is this is an expensive book. A 9.8 book, if, if one came up for auction, I'd probably go easily over four grand just to give you some um, idea of what this book goes for. Uh, I wanna say the last graded copy, if I can search for this real quick, and this was, this is all, this is back in March. A 7.5 sold for $300. So, I'm talking a few months ago, there hasn't been a graded copy sell since. And there's a reason for that. People are, are saving this book because this book is gonna pop next year. I guarantee it, I guarantee it. This is more on the pricey side from what I'd like to give, but look out for this book. That's book number three. All right, book number four. And this is a great spec book because the movie's coming out in September. I think, wait, September or November? I think November. But this is Eternals number 11. And then if you're not familiar with this book, it's a great cover. This is Jack Kirby. Kirby artwork, Kirby writing. And this is the first appearance of Druig, King of Swan, and Agnar. And... Why is this book not, still hasn't popped is beyond me. Um, there are, you know, three great first appearances on here. Two of them you do see in the teaser. Uh, you see Kingo and you see Druig. And if you're not familiar with Druig, Druig you see in a quick clip towards the end of the, um, of the teaser. And I think Marvel's holding this near and dear to the sleeves until they show what the actual character looks like in the villain form. But uh, Droog is supposed to be the actual one of the villains in, in the movie. You know, Lord Droog, Droog of Flames. Um, and this book is dirt cheap. It, it, you know, one sold today for $20. I was like, are you kidding me? Um, a higher, this was a better copy, one sold for 50 bucks. So it's selling anywhere from, let's see, another one for 50 bucks. So I'm gonna say between the two, about 35 to $50 book. Because there's, there's a few bids that sold for around 18 as well. So this book is, is still slept on, even though the movie's coming out later this year. Um, CGC wise, there's only, let's see, 520 of these books graded. Uh, nine eights are the highest graded in the, in the census with about 110. And the last graded copy was a nine six that sold end of May for $185. Well, wow, that's pretty cheap. Um, I think this book, even at the 50 to you know $60 range, a really, really high grade, it's still worth buying and grading because if a 9.6 is only selling for 185 now, when we actually see the trailer of the villain, if they do show it, it that, that book is going to be easily a four or $500 book. So that's number four for Eternals number 11, first appearance of Druig. Basically, it's, it's based off the villain. And then we go down to... Book number five for June of 2021, and I'm going to do something that recently popped uh, due to some speculation that was brought upon from know, some article or some YouTube channel. I can't remember what exactly that, that made it to go pop, but um, I've been speculating on this book for a couple of years now, and I pick this up whenever I can, and this is Ghost Rider number 31, The uh, Rise of the Midnight Suns. This is... So it's, if you're not familiar with this, it's a six-part series. And this is, oh, part six of six. All right, perfect. So if you're not familiar with this, there was uh, this book recently gained value after that article. And this book was easily a $1 to $5 book. You could easily find these in the dollar bins. And 
once news popped up about the uh, Midnight Suns, this book jumped from like a 10 to, I don't know, as high as $20 book raw. And CGC 9.8s were selling for right around $120. Um, and then Ghost Rider number 28, you're probably more familiar with that book and cover. And that's like the uh, cameo appearance of the Midnight Suns and the first appearance of Lilith. There's a few other ones, Meat Eater or something like that. Or, but um, I'm more targeting issue 31 over 28 because it's still really undervalued and it's the first full appearance of the Midnight Suns. I'm speculating on this book because I really think that the Midnight Suns are coming in phase five. They're starting to piece together all of these characters. You got, you got Blade. Uh, you got it's just more supernatural. You're getting Moon Knight, Blade. There's talks of Ghost Rider, and any of those characters that you know that come with it. And this book is polybag. They made tons of these. So to see this book, you know, go up in value to what it is now, it's impressive. But it, it's still not to what it's going to be in the next few years, if this comes to fruition um, there are two versions of this there's the direct and the newsstand edition newsstands are much harder to get for these poly bags and they're obviously going to come in a little bit higher premium if you do find them hold on to them try to get them graded and uh, get them out of those poly bags if you can because there is a poster behind it and I probably could add to the creasing on that book because of the uh, poster but um, census-wise, there's about 500 or so graded of Ghost Rider 28. But in comparison to 31, there's less than 100. So that gives you an idea that this one has a lot more room to grow. Because there isn't a lot of these graded. So this, it's like supply and demand. So... Um, Harder, they're both hard books to get in high grade just because of the colors in there. You both got uh, black black covers, a lot of colors in there, so it's easy to get the spine ticks. So look out for Ghost Rider 31. That's your pick number five. And that's my top five picks for uh, June of 2021. So if you like that, please hit a thumbs up. If you want to see some more of this, Write in the comments down below what you'd like to see. I'll definitely do one for July because this is this is the fun stuff I like to do. I like to speculate, talk about fun books. I like helping out the community. If, if that's what you're into, let me know. Um, so until next time, Mark Spectre Comics, out.